Hello everyone. Today I would be recording the tutorial for problem E of headquarter beginner contest 340. Do like, share, subscribe to the channel if you like the video editorial. Let's get started now. Let's read the problem statement first. Problem statement says there are n balls lined up in a row. The ith ball from the left is of color CI and has a value VI. The Kasti wants to remove exactly K balls from this row so that no two adjacent balls have the same color when arranging the remaining ball without changing the order. Additionally, under that condition, we want to maximize the total value of balls remaining in the row. And we have constraints like i is less than k is less than n where n is up to 2 e5 and we also have an additional constraint that k is less than or equal to 500. All the colors are between 1 to n and all the values are between 1 to 1 e9. And it also says like all input values are integers. Any DP ideas using which you can solve this problem? Let's first ignore the concern of same color. How can you solve this problem? The idea would be greedy. We remove like we take all the AI values, VI values we have. We sort them and remove the first smallest k values and take the sum of remaining of them. But this idea will not help us solve for the idea which does not involve color. So like any DP idea using which we can solve the same problem instead of going by the greedy idea. Can we define the following DP? DP IJ is the maximum value we can get when we have selected elements from V1, V2 up to VI and we have removed exactly J of these elements. Like if you define a DP like this, then the way we can solve for the next set would be like the base case would be like among the first zero element, we have removed zero element. So like the maximum value we can get is zero. And among the first zero values, we cannot remove one, two, three, four elements. So I define them as minus infinite. When we want to find dpij, that is maximum value we can get by removing exactly j elements from the first i elements. Let's take following example. Let's say we want to find dp. We can divide them into two different classes of category. One when the sixth element was removed, like these are these states, and the sixth element was not removed. And like this would be some of the examples where the sixth element is not removed. Like for DP60, let's say if the sixth element was removed, then we should find the maximum value when only two elements are removed from the first five elements. So DP60 becomes max of the current value of DP60 and DP52. We can divide, we can define all the initial DP states as minus infinity. And the other case when sixth element was not removed, then we should find the maximum value when three elements are removed from the first five elements and add current value to it. So DP63 becomes max of DP63 and V6 plus DP53. How to handle colors? Can we add color of last element picked in the DP set? That is now D we have DPIJC where it denotes maximum color we can, maximum value we can get when we have removed exactly J elements among the first I elements and C is the color of last picked element. If we do not remove the I element, then for DPIJ, we should remove J elements from first I minus one element and color of last I element is C. So yeah, because like whatever we have before, if we haven't removed it, then if we are taking ith element, then th that would be the color of last element here. So we have a for loop for color equal to one to n. If col color is not equal to ca, dpijci is equal to max of dpijci and vi and dpijc call. Like basically a for loop everywhere, excluding the current color we have because we should not have two adjacent nodes of same color. And if we do remove the ith element, then for dpij, we should remove j minus one elements from the first i minus one elements. And the color of last element remains the same. So for call equal to one to n, dpij call is equal to max of dpij call, comma dpi minus one j minus one call. Like we first take input as int n comma k and colors in vector c and values in vector b. And I am following one base indexing. Base case would be like we define a 3D DP where the first element is the index we have been at so far, the value of K and the colors we have so far. And zero is not present in any color. We can define as among the first zero elements, we have removed zero element and zero is the color of last element we have removed. Looking at the transition, we have essentially two transitions. Either we take the current element or we do not take the current element. So like if we do not remove the current element, then like the color of the last element pick would be become current color and we should add current value to our this state. Here among the like remove count is the number of elements which I have removed so far. 
So among the IDX elements, if remove count is the number of element, and because I am taking the current element, so like among first i minus one element, I should remove remove count number of element so far, and like the color which I have before it should not be equal to current color which I am taking care here, and here I am iterating on all the values of possible values of remove count and all the possible values of previous color, and similarly if we decide to rem to remove the current element. Then our removed count now would be between one and k, and like the previous color can be equal to current color. So like we can define and among the first i minus one element, removed count minus one would be the element we have removed so far. And we when we add plus one to it, then our total number of elements removed from one to one to index would be removed count, and like that's how we will deal with it. Now to find the final result, we initialize the answer equal to minus infinity. And we take on all the possible colors of the last element, and we take max of like re removing among the first ten elements. We have removed exactly k element, and this was the previous color. And if after taking all of them, if the answer is still less than zero, then we define the answer equal to minus one, which essentially denotes the case that it's impossible to remove exactly k elements among the first n elements, and we should print minus one as denoted in the question. The time complexity of this would be n into n into k, which is essentially the number of DP states we have, and this should get a TL verdict. Now to optimize further, I will work upon the same idea. The idea is this is like the number of colors for each DP IJ is way too much. Let's closely look at each DP IJ and their values for each colors. And like let's order the colors in such a way that the values are in decreasing order. Like dpij c1 ending with c1 has the highest value the one which and like among the first element if we remove exactly j element and c2 is the last color will have the second highest value c3 has the third highest value so on over here like these are the values for a particular value of dpij and different dpijs can have different order of cij and once we look at it like this way then let's look at our code again here when we are running the code for previous color you can notice that if the current color is equal to C1, the color which has highest value for for I minus one and the current element removed so far, then this loop essentially takes max of max with C2 and adds current value to it. And if that's not the case, then it essentially takes C1 over here. This gives us an idea that we should only keep the two colors which have maximum value for each DP IJ. We can ignore all the other DP states. Now, based on this idea, like we can again define a base case where earlier we were maintaining K colors. Now we are maintaining a vector where the first dot first denotes the max value and dot second denotes the type of color. And I have de defined an infinite vector as the vector with infinite value and colors as minus one and minus two. And for the base case, when we remove zero elements from the first zero elements, the max value we would get would be zero here. And our transition would look like for auto x in dpi minus one removed count. Like dp well is x dot first, previous color is x dot second. If previous color is equal to current color, continue. Otherwise, we insert like among idx and removed color, we insert like current value plus dp well and comma current color. Like this is similar to the previous loop we had. And like when we have pushed it for the very first time, we add a break here. And if we remove the current element, then we don't really change any color over here. So we can transition, like we can keep the same DP value and same PVR value over here. And this can potentially lead to three elements in IDX and removed count. And with a possible chance that some of them are duplicates. So we should also remove duplicates from the current count, which the way I have done is like I have for each possible value of IDX removed count, I have taken the current value, sorted them in decreasing order. And if first value and the like the maximum, if the first value and the second value in this vector is equal, then I run on a for loop, find a value which is not equal to the color of the first element and I assign it as A1 and then I write a break statement over it and I resize each dp value to a vector of size two. And when I want to find the result, I can look just finally, I can simply look at the max value, value for the max. And like, if that is less than zero, then it's impossible. Otherwise it's possible. Here, like each dp and k is the sorted vector over here with a pair, like where the first element 
is the maximum value and second element is the color we have like it's so note it's sorted in decreasing order now moving to time complexity for this one like the time complexity is now order nk but memory complexity is order also an nk here i am ignoring the small constant factor for sorting a vector of size two or three and this will lead to an mle like at coder does not have an explicit mle here so you may get runtime error or TLE verdicts based on like how many times you are doing it. Removing memory limit exists. Notice that DP index i and other values depend only on DP index idx minus one. So when we are computing DP idx, we can remove DP idx minus two from the memory. And this will give us essentially the order k memory over here. And like the way we do it over here is, and the way I can do is like, I can, instead of maintaining a heavy vector of length n, I can maintain a vector of length two. We have zero and one resize and like this is the diff checker to show like the explicit differences where you will have to maintain and like i can define like two vectors like current dp vec which is idx minus mod 2 and the previous vector which would be previous elements mod 2 and then i reset everything for the current vector to minus infinity and the colors minus one and minus two and the places where i had idx minus one i change it to pvr dp vec and the places where I had current DP IDX, I remove it to the current DP back. And you can notice the similarities here as well. And when instead of printing and K, I take and mod one and K. I hope you like the editorial. Like if there is any questions or like if there is any confusion in any part of the editorial, you can post a comment there or ask me on the, my Discord server. I would be happy to take the questions there and try to clarify something is not there and do like share subscribe if you like the content